How is this? Is this a dream? Maybe. You tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home, you know? Honestly, it's not that bad. So what? You want to stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried, too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? Uh, of course I am. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. Is that... Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. So... <sighs> you need to embrace this moment. Right? <laughs> I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And I'll always cherish what you've given me. But... But whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. <sighs> Even if you think you have, it's not real. Do I get a say in all this? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. If that's what you want. You've done more for us than we deserve. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Mm -hmm. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. <laughs> Are you going? Um, I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? 
some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy, Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? <sighs> And that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Okay. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? Nothing. You should help her. We will. Right? Of course, I promise. <sighs> okay, you can go. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's on high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan, then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo. <laughs> My fellow Grounders! Listen up, because boy do I have some news for you! The office must be crazy right now. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7! Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage! The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame! But wait! Did you know Wutai is the one funding their activities? For all their claims about fighting for the slums, they're nothing more than pawns of Wutai. Puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign masters. And that's the truth. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil, come on. Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu-Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them, we got them. Oh, Does this mean there'll what? be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. <sighs> we ain't no damn pawns of Wu-Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit? <clears throat> no one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey. Hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for regrets or what-ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you, don't. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. How far could they have gone? Oh, Cloud, have you seen the kids around by any chance? I haven't seen them since they left to do their patrols. I knew I should have told them to stay inside today. If you do happen to run into them somewhere, could you tell them to come back right away? I can describe them if it'd help. Don't worry. 
I'll know. Just stay calm and wait here. You never know. They might come back on their own. Okay? Uh, yes. Of course. Thank you so very much. Uh, Cloud, I'm glad to see that you're okay. In these trying times, I hope to develop new materia to help us endure. Cloud, I've come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. Hmm? TV's so boring. Hey, you! Cloud, right? Man, am I glad I caught you. Sam, he told me who you are. Said you're a merc and a former soldier at that. Listen, I hate to ask, but we got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> My poor birds. Worried about them, huh? All right, I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. There's three missing all told, and their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Oh, it's you, my good Merc! What brilliant timing you have! Oh, hello there. It is a pleasure to meet you both. I'm a journalist for The Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz? You mean that trash filled with Shinra fluff pieces? Well, yes, that's fair. But we do get a lot of inside information because of our close ties with the company. <laughs> Curious? Here's the scoop. A certain division of Shinra, that shall remain nameless, was planning to seize Corneo's assets. But before they could, the key to his secret vault, within which his misbegotten gains were securely tucked away, was stolen. And my sources tell me that the thief is the Undercity's beloved hero, the Angel of the Slums! The unidentified bandit who's been targeting anyone with ties to Shinra or Corneo. Yes, that Angel of the Slums has struck again! Well, do I have your undivided attention now? Kinda, but hurry it up. We don't have time for a three-act play. Then I'll make this quick. So, my good Merc, you do remember where the Angel's hideout is, right? Do you remember the death threat she left there? Oh, that. I've decided to seek the silver lining in this case. If the Angel of the Slums deigns to take an interest in a humble reporter, then that itself would be a story. <sighs> what are you asking? If you recover the stolen key, feel free to help yourself to the contents of Corneo's vault. All I want is knowledge, the identity of the angel. So if you happen to learn anything of value, I'd be tremendously grateful to you if you passed it along. Cloud? Hmm. Gotta be one of them lost kids. Lost? Who said we were lost, stupid old man? What'd you say? What are you doing out here? And where's everyone else? Well, we saw a bunch of tombstones lying on the ground, so we decided to stand them back up. And 
Then I heard laughing coming from somewhere, and when I turned around, everyone was gone. I was alone. That! I heard that, and everyone disappeared! Heads up! Here we go! <laughs> It's on you. I got this. Is that it? Yeah. kids come out all this way? This is where our parents are. They're resting, but we wanted to say hi. Sometimes you just want to do that, you know? I do. Thanks so much for coming to find us. That's another one I owe you. We're gonna head back to the house now. Ms. Foley is probably pretty worried. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the ground. You should take it. I think it might come in handy. Bunch of little smart asses. <laughs> with good hearts.
never do it. I got this. Need my help, do you? Oh, this is gonna burn! Hang back. Calling lightning. Keep it together. All set, you're up. Guess it's my turn. Bring it. Bring it. Bring it. Come on. Let's do this. Hang in there! No holding. Need a breather. Mind taking over? Love you, challenge. Hey, don't overdo it. I can still fight. I'm just getting scared. I won't. I'm not going out like this. Good sweat. Finish it quick. Brace yourself. It's on you. I got it. Shit. There. And don't come back. Hey there, Merc. Brought some friends today, I see. Name's Murray. Cloud and me, we... Well, let's just say we're recent acquaintances. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, if I had to guess. Hunting for Don Corneo's fortune. Now how'd you know about that? <laughs> well, there's nothing I love more than a good rumor. But I decided to fact-check this one myself. Hate to burst your bubble, but it's not here. If the Angel of the Slums got to it first, then I'm guessing that guild is as good as gone. Sounds like a reasonable assumption. But you know, that's not the rumor that's been making the rounds. Humor me real quick. A question. Hypothetically, if you did manage to get your hands on this treasure, what do you think you would do with it? Easy. 
Make sure the people of Sector 7 had the means to get back on their feet. That's what. We'd use that creep's fortune to better the lives of everyone down here. Hmm. Right. Back to this rumor. Word on the street says the Angel doesn't have the key. If you want the full story, talk to Kyrie. She may be young, but she knows everything about everyone. She's easy to spot, too. Striped stockings, big hat, girl doesn't exactly fit in. Where is she? Oh, who knows? I'm too old to keep up with kids her age these days. You understand. Kyrie sticks out like a sore thumb. Look for striped stockings and a big old hat. Got no other choice. What? Did you guys get into it with him or something? I don't want to talk about it. Huh? Hey, Cloud. What happened? Don't recall. Everyone's so sad. Oh, hey, uh. Betty, I'm so glad to see you're okay. You too. Uh, where's Marlene? Is she okay? Don't worry. She's safe. Really? I'm so glad. Hey. Can you help me with something? I'm looking for music discs for the jukebox. I think some new music might cheer people up, make them happy. That's a wonderful idea. Okay. If we find any music discs, we'll bring them straight to you. You just promised to crank up the volume, all right? You know I will. This song's doing it. People still seem kind of sad. I'm still seeing a lot of frowns. Hmm. I don't think this song's doing it. People still seem kind of sad. I'm still seeing a lot of frowns. Hmm. I don't think 
this song's doing it. People still seem kinda sad. I'm still seeing a lot of frowns. There's nothing left for me now. I was hoping you knew a way we could get topside. Sorry, but it, it's not possible. Well, well. What do we have here? I can see your summoner likes to train to be the very best. Me? Your physique, slender yet toned, and that perfectly balanced symmetry. I can tell from a glance that you learn from the best there is. But your muscles look tight. Which can only mean one thing. You're conflicted. Tifa? Excuse me. You're Tifa, right? While you're here, want to give Andy a run for his money? Work up a sweat, release some endorphins. It's the answer to everything. I promise. I'm in. If you are. All right, then. The winner will be the one who does the most pull-ups. Together we will surpass our limits. passion pushed me to my limits and helped me to overcome my lingering stress and fatigue. I'll be taking the stage tonight in the best condition of my life. Thank you. No, thank you for the same. To commemorate the evening. I would be honored if you joined me on stage for a performance someday. <laughs> Don't tell me. I heard Don Corneo was missing. 
you kidding me? Don't tell anyone. I heard Don The Coliseum is open for business and hunting. You up for a match or three? Yeah. With these babies, you can send intruders flying. I guarantee this is the only home protection you'll ever need. Only a few left. Get yours while you can. Hey, been waiting for you. So, what are you in the mood to fight?
would kill for a shower. Do it. There. Worked up a good sweat. Come back anytime you want to fight. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Do come again. Don't tell me. 
I've heard you. I saw it with my own eyes. A public security team walking right in the corner of me. I guess a lot more people will live out there. Look, see that cloud over there? Can't believe our luck. Thought for sure we'd be able to leave. I heard shouting coming from the mansion. Is if it isn't cloud. We're looking for a way topside. No one? And luck with that. Security's so tight these days that not even a gnat could slip through. Walmart gets in a sorry state, too. Corneo's men are turning it upside down looking for Avalanche. Hmm? The man with a gun for an arm. What? Got a problem? No, but you might. Corneo's men are searching high and low for an Avalanche member who fits your description. Shinra has placed a very impressive bounty on you and your friends' heads. And a lot of people are looking to get rich. Ain't these fools got anything better to do? You should also know that you and that arm of yours were spotted in the Sector 5 slums. Apparently, you were loitering in a rather lovely flower garden. Oh, yeah? Wait. This is bad. Really bad. Let's move. I knew you had a taste for danger, but this? Hold on, I'll fix us something to eat. I'll take a look around. A lot of noise up at the Don's place earlier. What was that about? Hey, what's up, man? You vibing with this jam, too? You can have a copy if you want. I thought for sure we wouldn't get any customers today. But man, was I wrong. This song calling to my inner warrior. Yeah, I can take on the world. It's time I took action, made a stand. Hell yeah, that's it. That's the fire we need right now. Be a force for change, brother. Ooh, I like this one. It's really peaceful, don't you think? Is it okay if I stay and listen for a bit? This song is a favorite of mine. Sure! I know this one! Marlene and I danced to it before! That's wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong! This is how you get down with this jam. I ought to know. It was my favorite back in the day. Pay attention, kiddo. It's all in the hips. Wow. <laughs> Come on, little lady. Why don't you give it a whirl? Pleasure. I think we needed it too. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, 
Until the day our victory fanfare rings out through all of Midgar, our battle will rage on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well now, looks like one of my chocobos got home safe. Thanks to you, I'm sure. Mind wrangling the other two for me. Heard there's a chocobo out by the Collapse Expressway. A chocobo was spotted near the old church. That's about all that's reached my ear. I'd bet good money those wandering birds are mine. Thank goodness. Been looking for y'all. You gotta help me. It's the Chocobos. They've escaped, wouldn't you know? 